hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video let's dive into the essentials with our guide on account assignment and item categories unlocking the keys to seamless procurement and financial mastery so talking about account assignment categories the account assignment categories in SAP MM determine how a procurement document that is a PR or a PO is processed in terms of accounting now if we talk about the types of account assignment categories we have some codes a is for asset which is used for procuring asset k is for cost center for procuring the goods or services for a specific cost center so these are account assignment values which we have to put in the line item of the pr or the po document talking about k for cost center if we have a training department or a maintenance department and we are procuring goods for them then we have to put k in the line item p is for project which is used when items are procured for a specific project f is for order for procuring goods or services against a specific internal order q is for maintenance orders and when the account assignment is not known during the procurement cycle we use u which is unknown Talking about the assignment process, the account assignment categories assigned to each line item in a purchasing document. It links the procurement document to the relevant cost object. For example, if you are procuring for a cost center or for an internal order, it will link the procurement document to that relevant cost object. Talking about the impact on accounting, it determines how the costs are distributed in the financial accounting system. Now, use cases, so A is for asset account assignment for capital goods. K is the cost center assignment for general expenses. P is project related procurement. F is internal order for specific purposes. And Q is for maintenance order for equipment. Now, coming to item categories, item categories in SAP MM determine how different types of materials or services are handled in the procurement process now there are some types of item categories so if we put blank then it's for regular materials d is for service for procuring services l is for subcontracting which is used in the subcontracting process t is third party for the materials procured directly from a third party source k is for consignment which is used when procuring materials for consignment process and H is the material provided by vendor. So when the vendor provides the material, we can use H in this case. Now coming to the configuration part, the item category determination is often configured based on combinations of material type, document type and account assignment categories. The use cases are standard, which is for regular procurement of goods, D services when procuring services instead of materials. L subcontracting when it is used when outsourcing part to the production process. T is for third party, which is the direct procurement from an external vendor. K is for consignment for materials that are stored at the buyer's location but owned by the vendor. H materials provided by the vendor. So whenever the vendor provides the material for processing, we can use H. Lastly, talking about the impact on procurement process. The item category determines the fields that need to be populated in the item details. This also influences subsequent processes like goods receipt and invoice verification. So let's go into the SAP screen to understand this better. Here if it is account assignment K, okay. So this is a standard procurement. So item category is blank. That means it is standard. So it is not of this is not a consignment, not a subcontracting, not a third party, not a stock transfer, okay? Because it is blank. So it's a normal standard procurement. But account assignment is for cost center. That means, so these are the types of account assignments, okay? Asset yeah. is, uh, you know, any computer or anything is an asset, okay? It, it has an mm -hmm. asset number. This is for cost center. So normally we, we work with, uh, you know, cost center and uh, asset an order so if i have an internal order it can be f here so order number is required so for cost center cost center number is required for asset an asset number is required for order order number is required for sales order a sales order number is required for project i have 
to do give some details for the project for so, like like for which project i am procuring okay for which okay. order i am procuring for which sales order I, am i procuring for which cost center i am procuring so how will i get the detail so as soon as you put k here in this line item while you're creating it which is say office supply okay so once you put a here this tab will open okay if this is blank this tab will not come if my uh, purchase order is for an account assignment for for a cost center or for an order then this tab will open up and i have to fill some details here like i give a cost center number this is very important if you do not give the cost center number you cannot save the pr the gl account is related so because you are going to bill it right so you are procuring for this cost center like this is a training training or cost center so it has a gl account so i have to get the money from them okay so it's a different department i have so i am procuring for them so that department has to pay right to to get this uh, account so so gl account is necessary for that also this defines which is the cost center so in sap we have there is a number code okay there are some series like for 17 series there might be a different set cost center like if i do an f4 here so like if i just run it so this is based on the controlling area these are the cost center number so how will i know this is for marketing okay for this controlling area so there are there 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 are multiple controlling areas and multiple company codes okay so this is all basically finance financial data but how now i, I would understand like if it's a uh, you know uh, if it is for sales for center i i am procuring if i am procuring for production cost center or something with legal or hr maybe okay so i have to select that cost center number here okay and the gl account maybe will be automatically populated i guess so we'll check that so uh, you know we can take the, the gl number related to that there are multiple cost centers okay like quality management research and development you know uh, plant maintenance also cost center okay building materials you know purchase and store so these are all different cost centers so i can procure them for multiple cost centers Okay, marketing. Okay, so these are all types of cost centers. Okay, so whenever I'm giving a cost center here, I have to furnish the details of the GL account and the cost center, also the controlling area. This will be populated automatically because uh, this link is already made. You know, so this link um, is based on. So these are key fields. Okay, cost center, controlling area, company code. These are all key fields. so once i give this cost center the controlling area will automatically populate and the company code will also come come up so here controlling area and this okay so these are important details okay for cost center this field is very important okay so similarly for uh, you know an asset there would be the fields will change here once i give a the fee, this field will change to asset number and other details gl account asset number okay for order there would be an order number here so suppose this material okay trading goods okay so this is a, there is a pr here and uh, this account assignment is x here so x is for all auxiliary account assignment so this is not required actually so i can take any cost center and this is what i is what service i is okay s is third party okay for this as well i have a account assignment tab okay and yeah. i need a gl account here here uh, for cost center i need this for order i would need this for project i need w base element okay so project is for p so if i select p here uh, if i select p here that is for project i need this one w base element for each type of uh, you know account assignment there would be different fields which would be mandatory here the project for this for sales order is there is this you said you, you we we check sales order right see here we have okay. a sales order yes so uh, if both okay. are blank this tab will not come if i make a selection from this list okay so for project so like here i can tell you here better so like here if it is a cost center then cost center field has to be done 
if it is a sales order i have to put this here if it's a project i have to fill this one if it's an order i have to put this one if it's a cost center i have to fill this one and for sales order i have to so there are four basic important uh, you know account assignment that we normally use so based whatever selection you make here the set of fields which are relevant to this account assignment will, will have to be filled here. So that is all in this video. If you got value from this video, do like, comment and share with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or feedback, share them in the comment section below. Till we meet again next time, you all take care and goodbye.